из некоторых стран прямо так и хлещет через край. С чем это связано? На мой взгляд, связано с тем, что утверждается многополярный мир. А это не нравится монополистам. Происходит это не в последнюю очередь благодаря борьбе России за свои интересы. Хочу подчеркнуть, за свои законные интересы. Это первая часть. Вторая заключается в том, что некоторое время назад наши партнеры в отдельных странах или группе стран начали предпринимать попытки сдерживать Россию, предпринимая всякие не вписывающиеся в рамки международного права действия, в том числе ограничения экономического характера, а теперь видят, что это не работает. Эффект нулевой. И это вызывает внутреннее такое раздражение. Western TV yeah. is sometimes biased, mm -hmm. sometimes not. Mm -hmm. I would say Russian TV is sometimes biased, mm -hmm. sometimes not. If you say we are sometimes not biased, but you are always biased, I would say exactly. You are sometimes biased, we are sometimes so we are always not always exactly Absolutely, and that is multipolarity. United States continue to be unipolar or consider continuing to consider itself as unipolar uh, power, but Putin, other civilization, says stop. And Russia says, no, you are not boss. You are not anymore boss. That's very serious. It is, if if we, we insist on multipolarity, and if behind us there is nuclear weapon and the iron will to defend, for example, in the little case of Assad, defend Assad. Assad is principally not because we have so much interest there. That is the question of who rules the world. The new world order, if you will, that, that, that was established when the Soviet Union disappeared, as seen by the United States, is a world order where there's one superpower. And that superpower is the one that everyone more or less has to respect and dance to that too. The Russian view, as expressed by Putin, is that there is no more, there is no such thing as a superpower. The world cannot be a unipolar thing, it has to be multi There are interests, everyone out there is yes. And we will not accept this. So that's where the real clash is. The Ukraine is about that. I've been very gratified by it. I mean, when you see the Russians lose a vote in the UN General Assembly by 141 to 5, you, you, I mean, <laughs> uh, Putin, that is, a, that is an astonishing failure of Russian messaging, information operations, and public diplomacy. When, listen, the only former Soviet state that voted against that resolution was Belarus, which has 30,000 Russian troops in it. You know, even even the Kazakhs, even the Armenians didn't vote um, against that resolution. They abstained. That that's that's a sort of a repudiation of a sort with even within the within the Russia dominated world. And then the the virtual unanimity of the General Assembly, um, you know, on that resolution is a devastating blow to Putin's, you know, narratives over many years that he believes in collective or, or in in, in um, in multipolarity, that he believes in the UN, that the UN should be the, the you know the, the arbiter of all of these things. He's thrown that back at the US uh, for decades, and to be repudiated by the UN as thoroughly as he just was is a devastating blow for him informationally. Now it's not going to change his calculus because he's taking the he's taking the words Nazi and genocide, and not just making them meaningless. He's debasing them. He's perverting them. Um, his claim is that those
those words mean whatever I say they mean. He is making the claim that I, as the leader of Russia, define those words. And by extension, those words mean nothing besides power. I'm going to put them in the category of words that just mean what power says that they mean. So this, I'm trying to say, is now a competing interpretation of the Second World War, which says that the meaning of the Second World War is that the leader of Russia is has the capability to describe anyone he wants as Nazis, to accuse anyone he wants of genocide, and that if he succeeds in doing that and destroying a nation and bringing people to trial and so on, then all that vocabulary, all those institutions, the, all of the psychological and moral basis upon which the European, the European Union has been built, that's all gone. That is all gone. 